big the sky is black. And it's only because of the resolution of the camera that you can see more stars than you've probably ever seen. Uh, and some people get really moved by this uh, by this view. I'm going to ask you, is anybody of you thinking about something specific when seeing this? What comes to mind? The site of Parang School. Well, what I found is some people get really excited about this sort of project because seeing there from outside is uh, can be a moving experience for some. So I thought we should try to do it more. And I thought if kids start to see more of the planet from outside, they start seeing it as a, as a whole thing. So uh, this is at the highest point. And we wait for a second. The way we have got this capsule out is with a balloon, a very big balloon, 10 meters. It would barely fit in this room. Uh, it's so big. And uh, it goes up, 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 till there's no atmosphere. And it so becomes so big it explodes. And then it starts falling. And it starts falling at 5 meters per second. It opens a parachute. And you have to go find it to find these pictures. And we find it because the cameras, because the pictures, because everything. And somebody finds this strange thing, their wife's body, and they think it's really crazy. It's especially at two men. So, after half an hour of falling, free fall, and in the beginning there's no air, so the parachutes are closed. They're falling, 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 falling closer to the air, into the weather. There's no clouds that come up so high. Falling, 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 falling. That's really interesting here. Uh, you get to see it like, with the resolution there, but there's some sparkles that are happening. It went through clouds that it was raining, so the thing was falling through the rain, and there's all these little stars happening around. And you see that tennis flying. And eventually, it's closer to a field. And we have a landing by. What are you guys are doing here? Uh, we're building a reflector for Cameron's first spaceship. A reflector? Is that the radar reflector? Yeah, this yeah. is how aeroplanes know, uh, know we're there. Okay. Cool. Okay. <coughs> what you guys are doing here? Yeah. Yeah. We do the estimate for uh, the wines, where we should uh, host uh, like the balloon. Okay. We and we're finding uh, uh, several Sign to land on the spaceship. So okay. we're singing a cup of food and a dial. Maybe. It is one point for the host uh, for the balloon. Okay. Thanks. Okay. What are you guys doing there? Uh, yeah, but like we're cutting it to like this every size, like this. Why? It's just a stick. Ah, because that's for the water landing. Um, but what is this? Like one here, one here, one is here. Right? Uh, okay. What is this? The cow for, for, for the box. Uh, okay. Or, uh, fiber, yeah, so, um, so that we can put the, 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 the chip about the uh, Okay. All the electronics will be in this yeah. box. Okay. Yeah. So I'm feeling, uh, the camera will be in the yes. lower. Uh, Okay. Okay. The upper one is for the don't pick your, don't pick your ah. yes. With the GPS, it will be in the upper level, like here. Okay. Yeah, we also. Okay. Actually, if you don't mind, this area, um, this actually produces some heat. 
right? Mm. But it doesn't produce enough heat not to freeze. So you might want to do is make sure that you have another level to put the circuit. Do like this, and then put this through a hole like that, so the GPS antenna is on top. But this is closer because here we'll have the battery pack for this, the battery pack for this, some of that white fluffy thing, and hand warmers. You know hand warmers that sometimes people use for skiing, which I guess is not very common here. But if you like, sometimes if you hurt your arm, they put something that warms you up, and it's well, you just break it, you put it in there, and it creates heat. Here you just take your arm outside your yeah, house. Yeah, you put it out the window. <laughs> But we have this little thing that generates chemical heat. So that will be below uh, heating up the batteries. Um, so this one needs a little bit of that, but not the GPS antenna. The GPS antenna has to be above. You get it, right? Like two floors? Yeah, yeah that, that's, the, that's the second floor. Oh, okay. That's the second floor. Oh, so there's one. There's still one above. Yeah, okay. So there's still going to be one above on top, huh? Oh, okay. One more tick, and then the collar. Yeah. Awesome. No, wait, wait, wait. You mean three levels? I'm thinking that no, this, the, this part. The cover. This part has to be closer to the battery. Yeah, but this can go here, and the, and the, the antenna will go on the other level. Yeah. I mean, this, 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 this is not, this not antenna. Okay. No, no, I mean this antenna. So you could put it like that, you could put it near the edge, right? So it's like this. Another thing to consider is when it falls, it might bang very hard. So you want to isolate with some styrofoam little pieces so that the batteries don't go slam against the delicate surface. When is launch date? Um, the estimation is for next Saturday, but this is uh, still, we don't want to disclose it until we have a better thing. And okay. email me if you want to be part of it. But there's some prerequisites uh, to be part of it. You have to have UXO briefings and other things. Um, and that's my work email, and this is a personal project, uh, unrelated.